Hola, buenas. Otro día más con The Night of the Rabbit. A ver, vamos a avanzar un poquito más a ver hoy. Eh, aquí. Ayer eh, conseguí pues los, todos los hechizos que necesitaba, los, los dos que me faltaban, y de los tres lagartos que tengo que encerrar en, la, en los botes, tengo uno. Este es otro, que tengo que convencerlo para que él mismo abra el bote, porque si no, no, no funciona. Y me falta otro lagarto más, que no sé dónde está. El único sitio... A ver, yo miré la casa de los enanos, y no estaba dentro. Pero había uno antes dentro del... dentro del ayuntamiento. Puede que todavía siga ahí. Aquí está, es este. You have come because the pain is eating you up, like all the others. You want to see Zaroff, like all the others. But you are only a child, a human child. I can smell it. You own no securities, no property, nothing. Come back when you have a trade, something you can use to speculate with. I don't think he's taking me seriously. And he smells of alcohol. Vale, este está borracho. Cada, cada uno de los lagartos representa una algo malo de la sociedad. Este que estaba aquí representaba el eh, las drogas, el que está allí, el juego, y este, el alcohol. A ver, ¿cómo podemos hacer? Si le damos directamente la botella, no creo. No será tan fácil. Vale, ¿qué más podemos darle? Claro, es que no me dice nada. Bueno, y estos me dicen algo diferente. You want to get past me? Never, unless you give me your ticket for the Great Zaroff show. I don't have one. Well, then go away. Conrad got one, so I want one too. But Conrad already sold all the nuts, all the books, everything. Well, how am I supposed to pay for my ticket? Vale. Y a ver, astucia de zorro, podría funcionar. Trained plumbers make a pretty good living, you know. You have come because the pain is eating you up, like all the others. Absolutely. You want to see Zaroff, like all the others. Exactly. Are you ready to sign a contract that allows me to speculate with your belongings? Then you will soon see him. The great Zaroff. A ver... ¿Dónde hay que firmar? Excellent. Your plumber's workshop belongs to me. Don't I have to sign something? Your word is enough. <laughs> By squam attacks, everything is running like clockwork. So, where is Zara? You are still... Still awake, soon you will sleep and see the great Zaroff. His vengeance is our triumph. Now my brothers will have to respect me. They'll have to. El póster, no, no sé si darle el póster. I don't want to put up any posters, not even for the great Zaro. Nada. <risa> ¿Eh? 
I've still got a lot of money and stuff to spend. That's a problem. You want to see Zaroff? Like... Yeah. The spell seems to work. Ah, then I'm... Then you... The... Vale, que mas? Sure. Vale, a ver esto. A bird never flew on one wing. I want another contract. Excellent. Your securities now belong to me too. <laughs> Pero no puedo hacer nada mientras hace eso. So, you are still still awake. Soon you will sleep and see the great Zaroff. I think I think I'm a little bit tipsy. Es cada vez está más borracho. Vamos a ver si. I've still got a lot of money. That's yeah. Si sí se puede emborrachar más. Good things come in threes. Another contract, please. You have nothing left. You are empty, just like my bottle. Vale, se le acabó el alcohol. In the clearing. What do you think? A ver. The price for acorns and nuts just crashed. What? This was all for nothing? I... I feel dizzy. My brothers will laugh at me. All worthless. We will be exposed. They'll all want refunds. Every lizard for himself. Looks like the sparkling wine went to his head. Vale, la ropa. It looks like he shed his skin. Nada, pero no parece que se pueda hacer nada. Si uso la botella con la ropa, no. Y con la armadura, tampoco. The weird guy is stuck in the armor, but how do I get him out of there? Warmer. Vale, a ver qué tenemos por aquí. A knight's armor, just like in a book. Well, if knights had been little hamsters, well, that would have been so cute. Nobody would have wanted to fight a war. A ver, ¿cómo se le puede sacar de ahí? Con los polvos pica pica, a ver, a ver si puedo hacer. Let's see if it works. That itches. Se ha ido, ay. Se ha ido por la parte de atrás del ayuntamiento, a ver. Where did that lizard get to now? He ran out here, didn't he? Can you see me? They can see me. I've done nothing wrong. Absolutely nothing. No. <laughs> eh, a ver si puedo hablar. Boy, we made great contracts together. <coughs> By the great squan attacks, my throat is dry. I can't even make proper excuses. <coughs> I suppose they told you that we've been involved in shady deals. The masks are only for protection. Dry throat, lousy, cheap champagne. People like us are hunted, dried, and hung up by the tail. You don't want to do that, do you? <laughs> No, I'm not talking to you. And no money back.
A ver, si subo en la parte de arriba, a la parte donde, es, donde era. Ah, claro, pero eso solo se puede hacer por la noche. No, no se puede. Vale. Eh, si le pongo la pegatina a no, la botella... Boquita. No. Dándole la botella directamente tampoco. No hay agua. Ha picado. Vale, dos lagartos ya. Falta uno. A ver, falta el que está en el pantano. Y este no se me ocurre nada. Voy a hablar con él. Can you tell me my fortune too? That will be one lira. Can I pay later? I'll lend you a lucky loan with 20% interest. Per year? Per day. Do you hear about me? I'll pull off anyway. What? Nothing. A loan sounds good. Excellent. The all-knowing balls. La trampilla. Ahora puedo hacer algo. ¿Puedo meter dentro de la trampilla la, el bote? No. ¿Qué más puedo meter dentro? Ay. Can you also tell your own fortune? Of course. <laughs> Hurrah! It is a white fortune ball. It says, dance with joy, lucky one, for luck is with you today. <laughs> oh, yes! No. La pimienta. No. Ahí, a ver eso. Pero lo intentó. A ver, voy a probar de nuevo, a ver si es porque... A ver, puedo probar otra vez esto. A lo mejor llegué tarde antes.
It is your a ver. fault. But you will not be able to do anything up. You will suffer bad luck if you touch no, no me deja. Uh, I just wanted to wipe off some dust. Tell her of luck. Tampoco he intentado... Ay, no puedo hacerlo de noche, así que tiene que ser aquí. Vale, ¿qué más tengo? El cascabel, ¿puedo dárselo...? Ah, la mosca ya no hace nada. No sirve. Ah, a ver. Ahora, a ver, a ver, a ver. You will suffer bad luck if you touch that hat. Uh, just tell her. No me deja, pero ah, con algo hay que distraerlo. Oh, oh. You will suffer bad uh, luck. Oh, sorry, Buzzy. Come here, you really juicy little thing. Oh, Max. Oh, Max. No. You were suffered, Tara. It wasn't to be. A ver, ¿qué tengo por aquí? Para usarlo con la trampilla mientras estoy distraído. A ver, el pincel. No. La pimienta. No. Y ahora no, no intenta comérselo. No sé lo que tengo que hacer. La remolacha es lo único. Pero no me deja. ¿Qué más? Pero tiene que ser algo así. Ahora está abierta. A ver ahora, si está abierta y a la vez distraído. Ahora, ahora, eran las dos cosas a la vez. ¿Y ahora qué hacemos? Ah, no puedo hablar con él. Ah, la bola. Ay, la bola blanca se ha quedado fuera. Ahora todas son negras. It says on the board, dance with joy, lucky one, for luck, surely it would be today. Vale, y si le pido que lea su propia suerte otra vez. Can you also tell your own thing? Si le saldrá una negra. A black ball? No. 
No, luck must be mistaken. There must be a technical problem. Uh, very unfortunate. There will only be one white ball in there. Vale, pues no ha hecho nada. I'm done with this for now. ¿Y ahora qué? Darle la... A ver. That's the ball that the strange guy always draws for himself. There's a note stuck to it. Dance with joy, lucky one, for luck is with you today. ¿Y si le pego esta pegatina encima? Sí, va a ser eso. <risa> Perfect fit. Y ahora tengo que volver a meter dentro el... la bola. Eh, a ver. No. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. Mira que... No. O a lo mejor dándole la bola directamente y diciéndole se te ha caído o algo así. Vale, le voy a dar directamente la bola. Buena idea, pero no sé algo, no sé nada. Take a jog for some good luck. But, hey, that sounds a lot better already. Take a jog for some good luck. Maybe it, it but, hey, that sounds a lot better already. Vale, habré que ver cómo meterlo otra vez dentro de dentro del tambor. Good idea. Good idea. Es raro y lo repite dos veces. Uf, no me digas que el juego está roto. A ver. Good idea, good idea. Uy, 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 uy. Ah, que el juego está roto. A ver. Voy a... Voy a intentar otra vez lo mismo. Pero claro, le sale la, la bola negra ahora. La vuelve a meter dentro, claro. Vale, pues esto, predecir mi futuro. Ahora, ahora. Ahora se ha quedado abierta la trampilla. Venga, ahora sí. Venga. Ahora. Eh, ahora tu propio futuro. It is a white fortune ball. It says, take a jug for some good luck. Vale, a ver si dándole la botella directamente. And see 
Luck is given to me. Finally! I couldn't have stood that for much longer. Bien, los tres lagartos ya están dentro de las botellas. He's finally gone. Kitsuna, Kokage y Zaiden are in this world. How can that be? You know them? They were already in my world. Whoever touches them will be lost forever. Do you really think so? Jerry, I can no longer open the path to my home. That must be their fault. I want to go home. Kitsuna, wait. She's gone. Vale. Bueno, primero grabar. Y ahora hay que ir a ver al mago con la, las tres botellas. Disappeared, and so is my home. The Marquis. So that is why something dark has infested the heart of the portal system. I will attempt to learn more about it in order to help Mousewood and return home. You must bring me the lizards. Use the banishing bottles I gave you. Remember, the lizards must open the bottles themselves. Otherwise, you will get trapped like me. Well, so yeah. Me lo has dicho, tendré que darle directamente la botella. You have captured the remaining three lizards. Now we have all four. Now they can no longer cause mischief in Mousewood. This time they travel in the shadow of a much greater disaster. Something dark has infested the heart of the portal system. Only a tree walker can put an end to this disaster. Only a magician who was trained by the Marquis. You alone can help us. Me? But... Your training is almost complete, but there is one final task you have to face. Choose your coat. At the end of training, every magician chooses the coat that suits him best. You pass through four portals. You learned four spells. Now the time has come. Which is the robe that belongs to you? Vale. Tengo... Este se... A ver. Ah, es, es para separarlo. That is definitely not for me. Hmm, I hope he's all right. I feel a bit sorry now that I yelled at him like that. This one looks like adventure thrills and fierce battles at sea. I like that sort of thing. And yet... No, I don't think I should pick it. What a fancy suit. This could certainly belong to a great illusionist. And yet, it's not for me. Wow, dashing, but definitely not my cup of tea. Whoa, a classic. But again, it's not mine. This is the kind of suit that would cause a TV screen to flicker if a talk show host was wearing it. That's not what I want either. Endless coats and jackets, robes and parkas. And they all look like they've been well worn. Hmm. Is one of these coats really right for me? Y aquí hay luz. Oh, I see light coming through a small opening. Wait a second. Is that a keyhole? Aha! Where there's a keyhole, there's usually a door. Huh? But this is my bedroom. Am I back home then? 
back in my own time. How did I get here? You are dreaming, Jerry. Nobody knows this room better than you do. Here, it only exists in your mind's eye. I see. So, what am I doing here? This is all nothing but a dream. The truth you will find here. The knowledge that you repressed is more than real. Pick your coat, Jerry. Pick the road that belongs to you. My coat? Where would I find a coat here? There's plenty of cool stuff in my room, but as far as coats go... Hello? Mr. Old Magician? No reply. Magic's all well and good, but we still need to work on communication. Vale, a ver, hay que encontrar la toga de mago. Estará dentro. No, no se puede seleccionar. Puerta, puerta corredera. A ver. Board games, sports stuff, old picture books, and my comic collection. Oh my! I bet the next issue of Dimension Upsilon will be totally awesome. Are the crocodile people really going to attack London? ¿Qué más tenemos? Ah, y aquí se puede abrir. Punta de la alfombra. Mm. Ah, that's right. There's a storage hole here. Mum said that this was originally intended for some stairs to the basement. There's nothing here now but a few dusty boxes. Dusty boxes, just like I said. I'm sure there's nothing in there but old junk. Oh, what's that? An old leather jacket. Never seen it before. But something tells me. Yes, I knew it. Pick your coat, Jerry. That's my coat. Pick the robe that belongs to you. This robe belongs to me. What? My jacket? It's gone! It was only a dream. Yet you have chosen. You are a tree walker. Magician. But this coat, it... You are beginning to remember. Who owns this coat, Jerry? I... it's... It's like a hole in my memory. There is somebody. I saw him at the portal trees too. He called my name. Who was it? I... Look at this card. My... My father! It's my father! Oh no, how could I forget him? Where is he? I saw it. Something entered your world, Jeremiah, seeking a beginning. But when it entered your world, something else had to leave. Your father was torn from your world, and even from the memory of his family. Oh no! Where... where is he now? He wanders the space between the worlds. You were able to sense his presence near the portals where the boundaries blur. There is only one way to help him. Only one way. Good luck. I hope his story has a happy ending. Vale, y ahora. What are we doing here? We must make our way to the clearing of the first tree. The clearing of the first tree? The signs were obvious, but I overlooked them for too long. What signs? The posters. The lizards. A spell has been cast on the first tree. A forbidden magic which is spreading to all the portal worlds. The posters? Right. The people of Mousewood were completely obsessed with the idea of seeing the Great Zaroth. But nobody knew where he was. He must have worked a spell in the clearing of the first tree. Through the corruption of the first tree, 
Zaroff has projected himself as an obsessive idea which spreads like the plague. The Lizard Consortium has exploited this situation, the mania of the inhabitants of Mousewood, and now he draws them to the clearing of the first tree in their dreams. The Marquis knew about it. So that was the danger he was talking about. But why did he disappear? We must break Zaroff's curse. Only then will we be able to rescue the inhabitants of the portal worlds and restore the balance. Only then will your portal be able to lead you back home. Only then will your father find his way back to your world. What do I have to do? The Hall of Apprentices confirms what I already knew. You are a true tree walker. Your training is complete. You must find the fifth portal. However, the tree walkers have sealed it. A sound carrier is hidden in this hall. It is the key to opening the path to the clearing of the first tree. The device can be used to transport sounds. I will attempt to reach the clearing in active sleep. I hope to meet you there. I wish you luck. Se pasa el día durmiendo este. A ver. Hurry, before it is too late. Vale, tengo que llegar al quinto árbol. Bueno, tengo que llegar al primero. Dice que tengo que llegar al quinto y al primero. Vale, aquí nada. No sé si habrá que usar algún objeto. Creepy the way they stare at me. I wonder who they all are. Marco metálico, a ver. Ah, nada. Es todo el. Bueno, ahí parece que hay un dibujo de una hoja. Y si uso la hoja esta con el marco. Ahí está. That must be the sound carrier the magician talked about. And now, where do I find the fifth portal? Vale, ese era el primer árbol, entonces. Lo que tengo que llegar es al quinto. Tonight, once again, I had better hurry. I need to open the portal to the clearing of the first tree. Vale, a ver. ¿Qué tengo por aquí? Porta sonido. Hey, it's starting to vibrate in my hand, and it sounds just like the wind blowing through that hollow stump. This is crazy. Vale, puede ser que haya que usarlo con la roca esta que está aquí. That probably isn't the sound to take along. Vale, el tocón y entrar. Only a hollow tree stump. Vale, eso ya lo habíamos visto. Algo puedo coger. Aparece. Ah, el tocón se puede coger. No. Si lo uso otra vez, eso ya lo he hecho. Oh, 
only a hollow tree. I hear a whistle. The wind is blowing through the hollow tree. Vale, y la luz llega hasta aquí, a lo mejor tengo que ir por el otro lado. Por aquí. They planted root fields and and they stretch out far planting and harvesting all those roots. A ver si tengo que usar esto. That probably isn't the sound to take along. Sonidos. Y por detrás. No, parece que por aquí nada. Qué raro, a ver. Y ahora la roca se podrá hablar con el susurro de rocas, a lo mejor. No. A ver, ¿y, a, ¿y en el agujero? Tampoco. Rayo de esperanza, astucia o el brote verde, a lo mejor crece el tocón. No. Astucia no creo, vamos a ver. Rayo de esperanza. Too bad. Nothing. No lo sé. Arriba, porque el rayo sale hacia arriba también. Sale hacia abajo y hacia arriba. Aquí no hay nada, ¿no? No. Aquí no hay nada. ¿Qué hay aquí? Extraño... Es... Lo que no sé si esto antes estaba así. Hecho de ámbar, pero antes estaba dentro del cristal. No sé si ahora está afuera. A ver... No. Y usando el, el portasonido. Ahí está, ahí está algo hecho. The little crystal statue is starting to vibrate, just like the sound carrier. Oh. Ahí está. Vale, y esto será lo que va en los cuatro huecos, porque al principio decía que había cuatro huecos en el árbol. A ver. Ahí está. Claro, hay que irse a buscar los cristales. A ver dónde estaban. Aquí hay uno. Vale. El otro está en la en la ciudad, bueno, en la ciudad en el en el pueblo este, detrás del ayuntamiento. ¿A 
aquí. Aquí hay otro. Ajá. Ajá. The little crystal statue is starting. Oh, the whistling of the. I'd better take that. Vale, y el último a las afueras. No, aquí no, en el otro lado. Por aquí. Aquí está. Allá va. Vale, y ahora hay que ponerlo en el tocón. La llave. A ver qué tenemos por aquí. Fuert Fuente de olor rancio. Ácido. Vale, ¿y qué hay aquí? No lo resolveré. ¿Lo hace al azar o qué? A ver, ¿qué hay que hacer con esto? La roca esta no, no hace nada. No. Y recoger la llave con el palo este no creo. Vale. Ah, siempre hace lo, los mismos movimientos. ¿Qué tenemos por aquí? Es, ah, es de cristal. Puede que lo rompa. No. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más tenemos? Susurra roca, esto de cristal no va a funcionar. 
Ah, sí funciona. Puedes hacerlo, ¿vale? ¿Qué más? El brote verde no servirá de nada. No. Y astucia. Tampoco. Rayo de esperanza. Ah, ahí sí. Ha! I could never stand these sliding puzzles anyway. I've got the key. Uh oh. That doesn't sound good. Oh man, that was a close shave. Vale, entonces la llave es de esta puerta. The portal to the clearing of the first tree. The time has come. If only the marquee were here, or the old magician. He was going to try and meet me there in his dreams. I hope it works, but for now I appear to be on my own. Watch out, Jerry! The fox! But, where is it now? Right in front of you, frog. Boo. Plato, this is Kitsuna. You've met her before. She's a very special fox. You can say that again. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know the first thing about magic and such like. Except for Anya's lingerie pancakes. Mm. <laughs> You're so cute! Kitsuna, Plato, what are you doing here? I won't let you go through there by yourself, silly boy. This tree smells funny. Your path will take you to a place that not even I know. You are definitely going to need my help. My parents used to tell me about the first tree walkers. They said a tree walker is someone who will help others when they're in need. You are a tree walker, Jerry. I'm nothing but a simple man. But perhaps I can be a tree walker too. I'm so glad I won't have to do this by myself. Right, Jerry. Let's get it over with. Whoever's disturbing the worlds will have to answer for it. I want to return home. I want my friends to wake up again. And I want everything to be okay again. Everything. Vale, a ver que... A donde vamos. Ah, y aquí es donde empieza el juego. Plato? Kitsuna? Where did they go? They were walking right next to me. Where am I now? It's dark, but light here at the same time. The air feels electric somehow. All the little hairs on my arms are standing on end. Camino brillante hacia lo desconocido, hacia la luz. Hacia lo oculto. Vale, el juego empieza yendo aquí, así que voy en como bueno, espera, antes de nada. El juego empieza por aquí, a ver dónde va. No. Tampoco. Everything looks the same here. This might be the path. Is this the right way? Yes. Maybe this way. Nada que no. Oh man, I think I'm moving. I wish. Maybe I can get through to the marquee or the old magician from here after all. A ver. Eh, ¿Dónde? Aquí. Hello? 
Jerry, so far I haven't been able to advance to the clearing. I need to... to be careful and not lose sight of my goal. My waking mind is starting to dream, to dissolve. Zaroff denies me access, but you appear to be closer to him already. But I'm stuck here. What can I do? You are between the worlds, just like me. But while Zaroff is misdirecting my spirit, he is leading your body astray. Zaroff's curse is strong. I know only one who wields enough power to help you here, between the worlds. A dangerous magician. Take this. This looks familiar. You need to summon him, like you did once before. Even if we may all come to regret it. But when you ask him for help, do not show any weakness. Hello? Our magician? He's gone. Ah, alone again. Another crow? Raven. Not another... Wait, you can talk. Some even say I talk too much. A ver, puedo hablar con él. Um, hello? Ah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Of course. You're right in front of me, aren't you? Who are you? If you want a name, I'm afraid I must disappoint you. I'm only a raven. Actually, I live in the clearing of the first tree. The clearing of the first tree? That's where I need to go. Do you know the right way? I can't find it myself. Everything's changed here, especially with all those strangers hanging around now. You live in the clearing of the first tree? Yes. But I thought the first tree wasn't the real tree. How can anyone live there? That's easy. Everyone leaves behind a memory when departing from the clearing of the first tree. A raven like me visited the clearing in a dream. When he left, I stay behind as a memory of the tree. So you're just... a memory? Just? I think that's a whole lot. The first tree remembers many things. Even after its time had ended, it remained rooted in the woods. It knows the secrets of the forest. What kind of place is this? You're at the threshold between dream and reality. Dream and reality? Dreamers come to visit my clearing in their dreams. Everyone knows how to get to this place. A sleeper knows the way. But I'm not asleep. And I can't find the way. That makes two of us. A voice just now said that you could ask someone for help. Yes, but how? He said that you've done it before. Hmm. Somebody came here once to meditate about his past. He thought up this wheel. What wheel? This wheel. Mm. If you turn the wheel, the crossroads will show you paths that are hidden deep in your soul. Places you have seen. Places you are going to see. And places that have shaped your life. Even if you never realized it, perhaps it can help you. But they are not true paths. Just windows or images. I don't know much about these things. I'm only a raven. <laughs> Vale. Mm. ¿A quién has visto aquí? A ver. First, there were four strange-looking lizards who followed a tall man into the clearing. From the opposite direction, next came a rabbit with funny eyes. The Marquis. I flew after him, but he entered your world. I could not follow him there. Why not? Because I come from here. From the memories of the first tree, there is no place for me outside of dreams. If I were to enter your world, something or someone would be lost in my place. Ah! 
but there are a few who can move about in your realities without disturbing the balance. They animate rocks and plants, and thus walk between dream and reality. Oh, I think I know someone like that. Eh, vale. I'll keep trying my luck. See you later. Wow, good luck. A ver qué es lo que me dio esto. Una corteza. Ah, vale. Sí, esto al principio de los juegos. ¿Y ahora qué? Usar la corteza con la rueda. No. no. Usar la rueda directamente. The paths have changed. How very strange. They're not even paths anymore. Almost looks like windows to different places. Vale, si sigo dándole vuelta. Eh, a ver. Piedra con inscripción, a ver esto. Vale, esto no es. Templo de las polillas. La maleta. Looks like someone tried to stuff it in the case. I'm not planning on dragging that thing along. ¿Qué más? A solo hizo todo. Vale, pero esto no, este no es. Me recuerda a casa. No, la corteza no sirve. El cañón hoguera. Ah, lo deja, no se lo queda. Vale. Y el cañón. That's one of the cannons belonging to the guards of Mousewood. It looks like I might be able to stick in my hand from here. How strange, indeed. I now have a handful of black powder. Pólvora. A ver, había... era el corteza, pólvora, ¿qué más era? Un lugar donde meterlo todo, que puede ser la taza. El fuego, que lo saco de aquí. Vale, a ver qué más podemos sacar del otro lado. No, de aquí no puedo no puedo recoger nada, no me puedo llevar nada. Hey, this is the dwarf's locker. And it is still locked. Vale, aquí nada. A ver cómo era. Es que yo no me acuerdo de esto. Esto está al principio del juego. Uf. A ver.
Esto, zanahoria flambeada. Ah, claro, ya me acuerdo. La llevo desde el principio del juego, es... Esta nota. There's a weird symbol in the poem underneath it. How he made, a... after drawing on rock, a symbol all in white. Grinding white to powder makes it right. Then add black in turn. The kind you should be loath to burn. Black and white, then three... Vale, lo primero es pintar... La roca. Con la pimienta, quizás. Vale. ¿Qué más? Ya está, ya está en piedra. Ya está en polvo. Añada uno más negro que es la pólvora. Pólvora, a ver, pólvora con pimienta blanca. Okay. Vale. ¿Qué más? How often then add black in turn. Black and white as Introduzca la mezcla cuidadosamente en el interior de un recipiente. Puede ser la taza. It's in. Vale, ¿qué más? There's a wind. How often black and white as they then three more things tree skin tree fruit Cort corteza de árbol fruto seco y una zanahoria corteza de árbol lo tengo also in fruto seco y zanahoria ¿Fruto seco es esto? A ver si me puedo llevar algún fruto seco de aquí. ¿Y usar la taza aquí no servirá? No. Bueno, y hablar con el cuervo. No, tampoco. Claro, es que este tenía una, una bellota en, la, en las manos. Esto no sirve como frutos. No, no esto no vale. Y hablar, susurra roca, hablar con él. Nada. I don't. Nothing. No. Y lote verde? Nothing. No. I'd better take No, tampoco. The brush is all brushed out. Aquí está el fuego. Esto ya lo usé. Yo creo que de aquí es donde hay que sacar la la bellota, el fruto seco. A ver si se puede abrir de alguna manera. No. I don't think I need an loot. Nothing. Too bad.
Nothing. Pues no sé. Aquí sale algo, a ver. Ah, la rueda. No, pones red. Ah, la red de bellota. Ah, aquí está. Ya está. Vale, falta una zanahoria. Un faro. From here I can see the sea. I can almost smell the salt water. This is really better than TV. Eve. Oh. Vale, el único sitio donde había una zanahoria era donde estaban los enanos. Quizás aquí. This is the dwarves' locker, and it is still locked. No se puede abrir la puerta. A la llave, no creo que sirva la llave, ¿no? No. ¿Qué más? Y el pez gato que dice. There's a weird sim. How he made a after draw it, then add black, black and white, then three more things. La zanahoria es lo último. Así que ahora puedo añadir esto, sí. Also in. Aquí ya recogí esto. Is that a wire cutter? Looks like someone tried to stuff it in the case. I'm not planning on dragging that thing along. Sigue cerrado. La llave no. Y el palo no sé. Man, I hope this is just an illusion. Wouldn't want to be arrested as a burglar after all. Okay. En serio con un palo. Oh no, my stick broke. Remolacha, pero no era una zanahoria. Funcionará. Okay, now everything is in. Pero bah, no sé si esto funcionará. Y ahora había que poner lo que decía esto. There's a black and white as they can buy. Then three more things. At the crossroads, draw a circle with the Círculo de polvo en una encrucijada, colocar el vaso en el centro y quemarlo, ¿vale? Para quemarlo tiene que ser en el otro lado. Aquí. I think I've got everything I need. 
I wonder if it'll work, even though I've modified the recipe a little. Vale, ahora sí podemos coger la hoguera. Ouch, hot. Now what? Y quemar esto a ver si funciona. This is better work. Your name. Tell me your name. Uh, uh I'm Jerry. Uh, Jerry Hazelnut. Jeremiah. Jeremiah Human. How were you able to summon me to this place? I drew a circle card on the crossroads. Very few have knowledge of this ritual. It takes inner strength to complete it successfully. Only the strong are worthy of our magic. Walking between worlds, I can see strength within you. So why did you call me? Hey, a ver. No puedo salir de aquí. All the parts are leading me in circles. This place is now a trap, leading back to itself. A dark spell must have been cast. Whoever cast it, it must have had a brilliant teacher. Vale, necesito ayuda para encontrar al gran Zaroff. Zaroff, Zaroff. He dares to leave his world. I never thought he could be that strong. Maybe I was wrong about him. The old magician said I should ask you for help. Aro, Molina. That is why your spell did not release me. That is why I am still trapped in the crystal. Of course. He allows me no more than these few words. But even that is a miracle. What you are doing must be very important to him. But how do I get out of it? A trap like this always has a way to allow the one who set it to pass through it unharmed. I sense that you are carrying a magical coin. The spell it bears is very familiar to me. But it is not. I just bestowed a gift upon you. The coin will now show you the path when you carry it through this place. Follow its light, but you must take heed. Wandering aimlessly in this place forever might be a mercy compared to what awaits you when you follow the coin's lead. <laughs> vale, hay que seguir la moneda. No, I don't think so. You might want to try what the masked magician told you. You will no longer need these places. I hope you find your way to the clearing, although I would much prefer to keep chatting with you. A ver, moneda. Y no funciona, a ver. Aquí se ilumina más que en los otros. Así que yo supongo que el primero será aquí. O maybe this way. I bet this was wrong again. Ahí se ilumina más. This might be the path. I bet this was wrong again. Otra vez aquí. Oh man, everything looks the same here. Y aquí. This might be the path. Cuatro veces. Sí, con cuatro es suficiente. This 
must be the clearing. The clearing of the first tree. I see a volunteer who would like to participate in this magic performance. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please give him a hand? A ver, el gran Zaros. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a volunteer. With my clairvoyance, I look right into your heart. He sent you. A child. Jeremiah, I was once just like you. Then I faced the cruel reality. The facts. I became a grown up when he locked me out of those incredible worlds. But our world is not a place for magic. No matter how brilliant you are, success is impossible. But I'm sure he didn't tell you that. Nothing is impossible. <laughs> Only for him. You will soon realize that. He should never have sent you. He will soon come to realize his mistake. Perhaps he will grieve for you more than he did for me. Uh. Whatever you're doing right now, stop it. <laughs> You still have much to learn. The audience, they love only me. <laughs> but we have wasted enough time. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I am banishing this boy into the wood of the first tree. No! And that, honorable audience, is magic! Is magic! <laughs> got much time. My magic isn't strong enough to ward off Zarov's curse for long. He banished you into the first tree. I tried to shield your mind from the clutches of his black magic as best I could. Do not falter, Jerry. Be on your guard. Zarov's spell nails have darkened the soul of the first tree. Others must be trapped in its magical wood as well. Go and find them. Do not succumb to fear, Jerry. You must not give up. Must not give up. Not give up. Give up. Must give up. You must give up. Uh, where, where am I? I? I must have fallen asleep. The lazy boy fell asleep right in front of a portal tree. Huh. But he wants to be a tree walker. What a sacrilege. Plato? I'm sorry, but my friend Jerry needs help again. I haven't got time for strangers. Strangers? But I am Jerry. He thinks that cardboard figure is me, and he doesn't remember me at all. Esa voz del principio. Oh, 
Silly little Jerry was actually dumb enough to approach a dangerous, gigantic monster turd. I should talk to it. Maybe it knows how I can get out of here. An excellent idea. <laughs> Silly little Jerry is completely befuddled. Of course. Ah, ya puedo mover. A ver qué tenemos por aquí. Una alfombra. Silly little Jerry had never seen such pointy thorns. El clavo. Jerry ignored the inconspicuous, absolutely insignificant nail. That's right. There are more important things right now. A ver el sapo. The toad's breathing rather heavily. No wonder it's got these ugly posters sticking all over its body. I'll try to tear off the posters. I'm going to squish you. It won't let me get any closer. You spell disaster for. to hitch a ride on my bike, but I need to deliver the mail. Jerry didn't care what the frog said, because he was too lazy to walk. What? But it wasn't like that at all. <laughs> vale, supongo que lo que hay que hacer es quitar el, el clavo del árbol. Castañas como una espuma. ¿Qué más? Escenario. Two large boulders. That were much too heavy for puny little Jerry, of course. Huh, I'll show you. See? Mm. Oh, I'm almost right. Milk does do a body good. ¿Qué hay aquí? Un interruptor. Hmm. I wonder what the switch does. It switches on the light. Surprise, surprise. Y esto es un megáfono. Hello? Hello there. Luminance Lighting Service. How may I help you? A good friend of mine would like to be back in the limelight. Who's the lucky guy then? A large toad. Here on stage. Very well. I can see illuminating this gentleman will be a truly daunting task. This looks like a job for a limelight deluxe. Vale, ¿qué más? Me queda el libreto. What have we here? Looks like a script to me. The Curse of Zara. Act 1. Silly little Jerry. I am not silly. <laughs> Hated by all woodlanders. No, that's a lie. An obnoxious moocher through and through. That's not true. Finally trampled to death by the angry rock toad. Who, who would write this nasty stuff? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> what a crybaby! Nothing is like it seems. You must give up. The spell nails have darkened the soul of the first tree. Just give it up. The lizards. Zarov. Hooray for Zarov. I must stop Zarov. Vale, puedo quitarle las pegatinas al sapo ahora. I'll try to tear off the post. No. 
I'm going on. You won't let me. You, you. Vale, y si le vuelvo a dar otra vez a la luz. Hello. Uh, yes. This. Ahora. They're stuck pretty tight. Take your hands. What? They're too firmly attached. I need to think of something else. It's a miracle that the toad can breathe at all with them on his face. These posters are really horrible. Says the silly boy who thinks his space octopus picture from first grade is truly great art. Hey, I got a D minus for it. <laughs> vale, que tenemos aquí. La goma espuma puede para para quitarle los las pegatinas estas. You mean I'm a lousy friend? Hello? Because I won't give you my bike. A ver, las castañas de goma espuma. Oh, the chestnuts went pretty far up his nostrils. Take your hands, I got you. Ahora. Uy, hay un fotograma ahí que tiene todavía las pegatinas puestas. Uy, y ahora desaparecen las pegatinas. Es un error del juego. Good enough for you? <laughs> vale, hay algo habrá que hacer con, friend, con la rana. Beto, are you all right? I'm sorry, but my friend. Strangers, but I am Jerry. Jerry didn't care what the frogs. What vale, esto ya lo habíamos visto. But I knew Jerry didn't care what the frog was saying. He would simply take the bicycle when his friend was asleep. He thinks that cardboard figure is me, and he doesn't remember me at all. La figura de cartón. ¿Qué podemos hacer con la figura? El pulsador. Just as long as you're doing all right. I was about to say the same. Ahí está el primer clavo fuera. Unfortunately, Plato, the clumsy amphibian, recently had an accident with his bicycle. Oh, really? He broke all his frog legs on an oak while being forced to deliver a useless letter for a certain... Jerry Hazelnut. Ha-ha! <laughs> you miserable bitch bit! Hey, look who's here! Spotting Teltador's porky! Maybe he can help me. <laughs> Otra vez tenemos el libreto aquí. Aquí está el clavo. Una grieta en el paisaje, vamos a ver. A ver qué tenemos aquí. Eh, ah, el clavo lo tenemos. Bueno, con el propio clavo no sé si se podrá. Oh. 
Vale, ¿qué tenemos? Pomo redondo y palanca. Vale, ¿y la palanca para qué es? Y ahora es que no. Ah, y ahora esto. Ah, son tres posiciones la que tiene la palanca. Jerry's lethal trap is sprung, and he steals the poor leprechaun's much more elegant top hat. I just want to get out of there. Dirty thief! Well, who cares? I'm si done with this vez? now. No. I'm done with. I'm done with. No, just have to take my sombrero así directamente. Mr. O'Donnell, the curse I was under is broken. I'm going home, and O'Donnell is born for freedom. You remember that, you ugly conniving whisperer. <laughs> vale, directamente quitarlo. O hay que hacer algo más. No, así con hacer eso es suficiente. Vale, segundo clavo. The land of volcano, sharp swords and man-eating fox spirits. What a beautiful place to fail in, Jerry Ford. Just give up, Bonehead. Hey, I'm a fox. I swear. Kitsuna. You are trapped in a human's body. No mask can hide that, Kitsune. But... Humans and foxes can never be friends. But if a human accepts a fox for who she is, doesn't that count? Even if that were the case, why aren't you changing back? I... I, I tried to change back. It, it just won't work. You may wish to be a fox again, but your heart is lost. I shall protect your ears from the confusion wrought by humans. Please help me. I shall heal you from being human, or devour you as a human. <laughs> Kitsuna. Vale, habrá que quitarle también las pegatinas estas igual que el sapo. Whoa. 
hostess. I'll rip them down. I smell a human. I may be blind, but my nose never deceives me. We foxes are dangerous animals. Oh no, Kitsuna sounds downright threatening. Vale, la campana. No se servirá de algo. Great, a new script. The curse of Zaroff, Act 3. Little Jerry won't give up. He kept bothering the foxes incessantly. Until they grew tired of the immature smart Alec and devoured him, bones and all. Ouch! <laughs> que no hay nada más aquí bueno hablar hablar con Kitsune no lo sé Kitsuna ah she can't hear me human and fox cannot be friends we have nothing in common there cannot be anything and even if there were we would break their hearts Biting their flesh, or biting their soul. That is the only bond permitted between us. A ver, ¿qué más? ¿Qué más hay por aquí? Solo tenemos la campana. ¡Valga! Ay, si le doy el cascabel. Foolish boy, I can smell your intention, but she cannot hear you. She is mine. <laughs> she is his. <laughs> ¿Qué más hay por aquí? Tiene algo que ver con la, camp Ay, la campana, pero solo suena y ya está. No hace nada, no, no hay ninguna respuesta de ningún personaje. Más fuerte y ya está. Another one of those are completely insignificant. Oh, the guardian's in the way. If you touch that nail, I will bite off your head. I had better keep my distance. ¿Qué más? Con el clavo anterior se puede hacer algo. Better not. Better not. Better not. No. Better not. Clavo de hierro, clavo de bronce. Ah, ahí, a ver si amplifica la campana. Vale, ahora puedo darle el cascabel. Ahora sí. Human, I shall have all humans suffer for this, including your little Kitsune. I'm a fox, I swear. You may wish to be a fox again, but 
Your heart is lost. I shall protect your ears from the confusion wrought by humans. Jerry! Quick, Kitsuna, run away! You belong to us! There will always be a fox, Jerry. <risa> And Jerry's sound carrier shattered in his backpack. Ay, no, me quedo sin el porta sonido. I'd better be careful with the shards. I'd better be careful. I'd better be careful. I'll sneak up on her this time. Watch out! Jerry's about to mug you! Desist, human! Or I shall bite off your head! Tattletail! <laughs> hmm. Y el clavo tampoco better sirve not. para nada. Better not. Y puedo hablar con ella. Ahora. Kitsuna? Are you alright? Jerry, I. Humans and foxes. But if a human accepts a fox, you may. I Esto es lo mismo de antes. I will. I know, and that's a good. You are. You. You are a fox. I am. I am a fox. Ah, esto es nuevo. <sighs> foxes fight. Tercer clavo, ven. Friendship removes the nail. Who's supposed to believe that? Bueno, y aquí está el último clavo ya. The boy was so overjoyed at getting to spend another vacation in one of the most beautiful places on earth. V vacation? That, cheering loudly, he tore off his clothes and jumped into the ice cold water. Jerry and the rocks! <laughs> I'm beginning to think you don't care about me at all. Mr. Hazelnut, I resent your attitude. The only thing I care about is art. But you just won't follow the script. Yes, please f f forgive me. Oh, oh just try harder. I certainly hope so, you useless amateur. <laughs> no. A mighty polar whale broke through the ice oh, behind no. Jeremy, and with his mighty voice he proclaimed, You have made a brave effort. You even advanced to the edge of the eternal ice. But you cannot withstand the cold. It is time to give up. To let go. Join me as I slide into the dark, cold waters under the ice. <laughs> vale. A ver qué tenemos por aquí. El bastón. Gigantic candy cane. Jerry couldn't resist. He had to lick it just once. You just want my tongue to freeze to me. 
Exactly. Finally, you've read the script. Go right ahead, then. No. I'm going to save the game for later. Oh, the boy is just too smart for you. Quiet. Vale, que tenemos el libreto también, el océano. Jerry was fascinated by the relentless cold of the Arctic Sea. The sight of its icy waves alone was enough to make Jerry shiver uncontrollably. Vale, voy a grabar. El océano, el clavo y esto será la ballena. That is the eye of the polar whale, and he he looks distressed. And it's no wonder Jerry posed a sorry sight after all. <laughs> no, it's because of your posters. It, it, it looks like he's watching me. ¿Qué podemos hacer con el caramelo? ¿Podemos hacer algo? Jerry held up the string of lights. In an instant, the polar whale leapt out of the water, burying the boy beneath his gigantic gills. Gills? Whales are mammals, you know. <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> ¿Qué más? El árbol. The Christmas tree. Mom always bakes delicious mince pies for Christmas. The young boy's yearning for the familiar sweets was downright overwhelming. It painfully reminded him of the fact that his mother would never again hold him in her arms. <laughs> This is just low. The curse and all that is all right, but dragging his mother into this. Disgusting! <laughs> Quiet! Maybe it'll make me feel better if I take down the decorations. Vale, ya tenemos las luces. No sé si... Ah, bueno, en la ballena primero a ver si... Jerry held up the string of lights. Eso es lo mismo que dijo antes, pero con el caramelo. A ver si lo tiro al agua. Sin anzuelo. Vale. Si uso estas dos cosas juntas... Y ahora sí tengo anzuelo. You know, I bet if Santa ever goes ice fishing, he takes along plenty of warm milk and cookies. Right, let's see what happens. The polar whale had taken the bait and dragged the wimpy boy down into the icy depths. Just a cable? Ah, that's an evil, um... Electric. It looks electric. Yes, that's it. A wicked electric cable eel that's about to uh just 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 a moment. That's about to wrap itself around my scrawny neck and zap me with a lethal electric shock. Yes, exactly. Very good. I think you need a vacation if you depend on a 12-year-old to create your heart for you. Y ahora qué? Tirar del cable. Loops back there to where all the wind is coming from. Wait, why am I saying back there? when I'm clearly on an ice floe in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> I'll just pull on the cable. <laughs> hey, look! It's a wind machine. 
¿Y qué puedo hacer ahora? ¿Lanzar la caña contra la máquina? No. ¿Qué más puedo...? El portasonidos no creo que sirva. Vale, esto es lo mismo de antes. ¿Y si sigo tirando? Se puede. Eso es. Looks like the fan's direction can be changed. No, you can't do that. The fan blades would chop up your delicate fingers. Baloney. Ah. That is much better. Thank you, little land walker. No, no, no! Our nightmare is now over. But many are still dwelling under the curse of darkness. You have got to help them. But I don't think what a hell And Zeroth is a mighty whale! <laughs> That is exactly your strength, little land walker. Woohoo, Jerry! You can do it, Jerry! Quiet! We believe in you, Jerry! Go, Jerry! I shall now dive home. Be strong, Jenny. Be strong. I will stop Zara. I will stop him. Curses. Vale, el clavo. ¿Podré llegar hasta el clavo ahora? Sí, por aquí. Vale. No, no, no. You'll ruin everything. You. Jerry removed the nail. He realized that this was all just the dream that he and his friends were trapped in. He understood that he was able to change the dream. But? Because it was his dream. But you can't. The unfriendly man congratulated Jerry. Congratulations, boy. You did it. And was suddenly much nicer than before. That was truly fantastic, Jerry. Boy, this was weird, but you kept on top of it. Absolutely awesome. The end. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Jerry Hazelnut. Encore. Jerry woke up. No. No! This is impossible! We're back in the clearing. The audience? Oh, uh, uh, are they spirits? They're dreamers. The cars brought them here. 
Ooh, why are they so angry? I've seen this before. They are restless. They are furious. They could forget their way back in their blind rage. Uh, and then? Then they would just become empty spirits haunting the dreams of others. It's a dharma. Watch out, Jerry! It came from over there. Zaro. You, calm down the dreamers. I I'll take care of Zaro. But, Jerry! He's right. You can sing, can't you? Well, yes, but... <laughs> Now, where did Zorov get to? You! You defeated the lizards, removed the nails. The Maquis chose you well. Now, show me what you're made of, Dreamwalker! Jerry, defend yourself. You're a gift. When two spells of the same kind clash, they will create great magic energy for a few moments. Try to take advantage of that. Eh... Astucia de zorro, que es el rojo. No sé. Ah, si lo tengo aquí. When two spells of the try to take advantage. Aprovecha la como. Vale, si le doy el mismo, coge más fuerza, coge más energía. ¿Y luego qué? No sé después qué, qué hay que hacer. Otra vez el mismo. No, el mismo no es. Vale, voy a probar con otro distinto a ver el azul. Tampoco. Tengo 
tengo algo aquí. Hierro, bronce, oro, lata. Puede ser uno de los clavos. Claro, pero ¿cuál va con cuál? O, o da igual, que el que use cuál. ¡Ah! Mira, ahí están. ¿Por qué esto no apareció antes? Ah, tenía que descubrirlo, que eran los clavos. Uah. A ver... Ah, ahora sí tienen colores. A ver, el rojo... Vale, es eso. Vale, vale, vale. Excellent. You repelled his spell with the nail and rendered it harmless. Zaroff lost one of his spells. El verde. A ver si es este. Sí, parece que está en el mismo orden. Well done. You repelled his spell with the nail and rendered it harmless. Zaroff has only two spells left now. Puedo grabar aquí. Sí, parece que sí. Ahí está. Zanoff has only one remaining spell. Vale, el último. You did it, Jerry. Zarov used his magic against you and lost. I didn't mean to do it. Not like this. Marquis, are you... He's still too weak. He cannot answer you. Who, who, who's the boy? Where did he come from? The tree. It remembers. It remembers the teacher and the apprentice who once visited this place. Zaroff did evil things. That's why he cannot look the child he once was in the eye. But who among us could, after all? Who is he? What does all this mean? Vale, este es el final del juego ya. The Great Zaroff. One of the greatest illusionists of his time. You may have heard of him. Not many remember him now. In reality, he wasn't just an illusionist. He was one of us, a magician. Zaroff was the last apprentice of the Marquis de Hoto. When the rabbit trained him, he was just a boy, not much older than you. When his training was finished, young Zaroff and his teacher visited the clearing of the first tree, and they left some traces behind. Tree would remember them. 
Soon, the Marquis and Zaroff became living legends as they hurried from one world to the next, from portal to portal, and help wherever help was needed. They were true tree walkers, but their path led them to a place where darkness ingrained upon their souls. I was there when the mirror of shadows disclosed to them their own potential. They beheld their own brightest virtues and saw the darkest chasms within their souls. And only few can bear that kind of truth. So it was only a matter of time until the dark seed sprouted within them. And when it did, the Marquis was the first to start doubting the ideals of the tree walkers. Then the apprentice started doubting the teacher. And finally, the two of them turned on each other in hatred. In his blind wrath, the Marquis banished his apprentice to the world from whence he came. He took away his ability to walk between worlds, so that every portal would remain closed to him. Zaroff became a prisoner in his own world. A world that had room for magic only on its stages. Thus, he became the great Zaroff, the illusionist. But the appeal of the new tricks he invented to captivate his audience soon wore off. And Zaroff fell for a second time. Marooned. Forgotten. In his despair, he began to rattle the doors of his reality. He turned to alchemy, forbidden experiments, to open up the portal worlds once again. And with every failed experiment grew the hatred for his teacher and for his audience that no longer cared for him. And when Zaroff was finally driven by nothing other than fury and revenge, something answered to his rattling and knocking. Consortium Squamata, the lizards. With its false promises, the consortium had already passed through many worlds. Promises that would disturb the balance of nature. Zaroff was approached by four members of the consortium. They offered the magician a deal. The lizards had surreptitiously obtained the ability to walk between worlds, but they didn't know the way to the most secret of places. Zaroff, on the other hand, had memorized the paths of the tree walkers, the portals, the path to the clearing of the first tree. Thus, he led the lizards through the portals, betraying the tree walker he had once been with every step of the way. In exchange, they gave him the power to cast a curse on one of the first trees. The lizards gave Zaroff four nails. Four nails made of four cursed metals, serving to drive the magician's spell deep into the trunk of the first tree where it would take effect and make the inhabitants of the portal worlds his final audience. Thus, trying to obtain respect and glory by force, Zaroff's final great triumph. And while the portal worlds were suffering from the curse of Zaroff, the lizards invaded them, as they had done many times before. Only one could have provided help. But Zaroff's mentor, the Marquis de Hoto, had spiraled himself further into the darkness that the Mirror of Shadows had revealed to him. The Cold One! 
He was willing to let us freeze to death. The good tree walker who had trained Zalf. I had already given up hope I would ever meet him again. But when Zaroff entered the clearing, the first tree remembered the magicians. When it recognized the threat that the apprentice posed, the first tree brought to life and sent out the memory of his teacher. So, the memory of the Marquis de Hoto, shaped long before his own corruption set in, left the clearing of the first tree and promptly forgot that it was nothing but a memory. And once again, he was a true tree walker. He set forth to find himself an apprentice, somebody who would be able to stop Zaroff. He answered your call. The roots of the first tree run deep, even into our dreams. The Marquis found you, Jerry, because you had a dream. Now. This place might be his only salvation. He will remain in the shadow of the first tree. The Marquis, the first tree, they were right. You went beyond yourself. That's how you finally got to this place and faced down Zaroff. The Marquis made you a true tree walker, but you were forced to pay a high price. When the Marquis went from idea to reality by entering your world, Something else had to go. Your father, as though through a revolving door, the Marquis came to life, and your father was lost in the rift between worlds and forgotten. But do not worry. You saved us all, and very soon we will return the favor. An acquaintance of mine once said, Only those who get on the way can find their way. And so it came to pass that Jerry had to leave his mentor behind in the clearing of the first tree. Jerry knew that he had been more than the memory of a courageous, one-of-a-kind tree walker, more than the first tree of Mousewood needing Jerry's help. He had been a friend. Then, for the last time, the Marquis slowly turned and lifted his hand as if to wave goodbye. I, I will never forget you, said Jeremiah Hazelnut. And I, I will never forget you, came the reply from the shadows at the foot of the tree. And the boy knew, the Marquis, the tree, he would remember him. When Jerry returned to Mousewood, lost in thought, there was music in the streets because for the first time in a long while, an apprentice had come to Mousewood to study the art of arts. And for the first time in a long while, the treetop festival, the celebration of friendship and courage, was held in honor of an apprentice who had finished his training, in honor of the tree walker, Jeremiah Hazelnut, the rabbit's apprentice. Ah, ahí estoy, aquí está, se acaba. A ver, pero puedo hacer algo todavía. No, Penny is now the Crow Scout. He has to stay away from the cannon now. A few nights ago, he shot glow nuts at the town. I knew there was something wrong with him. Poor Penny. Isn't this a grand tangle? We put it together yesterday in a hurry. Very stylish, boys. And it was great fun, too. Yeah, diligent work is fun. You again. I love the treetop festival. I come here every year. I have this magic premonition that you will not be the last apprentice the people of Mousewood acknowledge in this fashion. Ah. 
Greetings, Jeremiah. The portals have recovered. You can go home now, Jerry. Are you ready? Sí, venga. Yes, I'm ready. And I'm going to come with you. My father, my mother, will they be back? They already are. Y ahora vuelve a casa. Sí. Y está el padre y la madre. Están los dos. Y el perro. El perro que se veía antes también está. Terry, we've been waiting for you for an hour. I've had to stop your dad from eating the entire black meat pie himself. I was hungry. I feel like I've been on my legs forever. Me too. El zorro está ahí. And that's all Jeremiah could say. The fox girl still claims that he cried. That's so not true. <laughs> thus Jeremiah Hazelnut returned home, and thus ends our story. But with every ending, Other stories begin. They are like waves in the ocean, always in motion, spilling over and intertwining. Some stories tell of huge problems we create for others that can barely be solved, even with courage, especially when you're nothing but a tiny mouse. Someone is going to step up. La parte del vertedero no se no se soluciona aquí. Lo habrán dejado para una segunda parte del juego o para un spin-off o algo así. And then there are scary tales as well. Secret, forbidden ones that you can only tell behind closed doors. Are you suddenly cold too? Who... Who was that boy? My friend's apprentice. Thank you for helping him. He broke Zarov's curse. I underestimated Zarov. And that boy too. Will you finally free me from this prison? so that I may once again protect the portal worlds. This kind of thing must never happen again. You know that this is impossible, old friend. Uy, ¿y esto? Nothing is impossible. Uf, qué vuelta le ha dado todo. Se escapó. Por eso decían las polillas que era, eh, que era el malo, porque hay, hay dos conejos. Bueno, el juego está muy bien, me ha gustado mucho. Es largo, bastante largo. Y, y nada, es eh, un fantástico, muy bien hecho. La banda sonora está muy bien y me ha gustado mucho. Así que voy a dejar aquí el directo ya. Y hasta otro día. Venga, hasta.